jealousy anyway. He never really talks much. Never concerned with status, but still even him starstruck. Humble through opportunities, given despite the fact that many misjudge him because he makes a living from writing raps. Put it together himself, but a picture connects. Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect. He's only focused on what he wrote. His will is beyond reach. And now it all unfolds, the skill of an artist. This is 20% skill, 80% fear. Be 100% clear, because Ryu was ill. Who would have thought he'd be the one to set the West in flames? And I heard him wreck it with the crystal man. All right, welcome to Lyman High School as we have the second part of our doubleheader tonight as the boys take on, the Lyman boys take on the Rocky Ford boys as we have action here on a Tuesday night in Lyman, Colorado. The 8-7 Rocky Ford Meloneers come in and take on the Lyman Badgers at 9-6. Badgers coming off a tough loss as they were edged out in Burlington in a tough one. Burlington always coming out strong and playing tough as they did against the uh, Badgers last Saturday. Badgers going down in defeat. Uh, Fowler was a winner over Rocky Ford, 44 to 41. Don't forget Fowler and Simla or Swink on tonight as uh, they will be battling it out. Uh, but yes, the uh, Meloneers coming in at 8-7. This is a pretty decent Meloneer team as Joe Brewer gets set to get on here. Joe, welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Just telling everybody that it's going to be a tough one tonight. Eight and seven Meloneers coming in. This is a team that, uh, you know, obviously not the team that they've had in the past, but nor, nor the Badgers. But uh, it's a team that, when you look down their schedule, they've played a pretty tough schedule. Uh, looking down there, they played uh, Swink, Rye, Honey, Sanford, um, McClave, who was a uh, finalist last year in 1A. Uh, not a bad team. No, no, it's a, I think Sanford's ranked number two. They've lost one game this year. Swink is a very good team. Um, and of course, Honey's always. Yeah, they're always seems tough. Seems like they're always tough, so. Um, yeah. And, it, Rye, and Rye is, I believe, they're ranked in the they top are. 10. They are, I think too. they're in the top 10. Yep, they are, yeah. so. So, so. It, it, as I talked to uh, Coach uh, Peterson, he was talking about uh, they, obviously, they, they're going to run a game that uh, would, could hurt Lyman in the fact that they transition very well. They've got some fast guards, and they like to play fast break. Well, you, that's, so. that's what they did last year. You know, we had to play them down Rocky Ford, and they gave us some fits because they did run the court well. And, you know, we played two teams that did that real well this year yeah. in Marino and uh, – I can't remember the other one, and we struggled at times. So yeah, that's one something that they cannot afford to do is is uh, not get down court. So uh, do we have starters? Yes, we do. All right. Uh, for Rocky Ford, we have number one Jonathan Montanez, number two Isaiah Baca Lafore. I think I'm saying that right. Number uh, three yep. Ryan Cas Casillas. Uh huh. Number fifteen Alex Vasquez. And number 22, Dalton Grasman. Okay. So, and then for the Badgers, we have number one, Kerrigan Capel, a 5'11 junior. Number 10, Tristan Rubisam, a 5'10 junior. Number 22, Luke Meyer, a 5'9 junior. Number 23, Gavin Liggett, a six foot senior. And number 44, 6'1 junior, Cody Bennett. So. All right. One thing that uh, we talked about in the uh, interview with Coach Peterson is is the 37-point output by Liggett at uh, Burlington. You know, they can't live and die by that diet. That's going to that's gonna eat them alive, and they've got to get – they've got to find some balance somewhere, and I don't know where, but they've got to get it done. Yeah, and I mean, we just – we look like we were dead Saturday night. You know, we shot I think, I seven of twenty-eight from the three-point line. Yeah, forty-five it, it, percent. I mean, that's that's horrible. Uh, you know, we we couldn't make a shot at times. We just ran hot and cold. So, uh, we're going to play a little bit more intensity tonight. 
Well, hopefully, and, th and, and this is a Tuesday night. Uh, so, I mean, who knows how both teams are going to react. You know, Tuesday not exactly, not exactly a, base, a basketball game night. Yeah. Kind of a weird feeling. So. so well, it would be interesting to see. You know, we, uh, we kind of talked about after the game last week, last Saturday night. You know, we, we're getting down to the end of the year, and, you know, we're, we're two weeks from uh, – starting the district tournament, we are definitely going to have to play better than we did last weekend. Oh, definitely. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a short trip at the turn in the tournament. So uh, we, we'll be two in a barbecue. So. One thing, too, uh, we, uh, the, the, I guess the good thing is, is they are three and two in league, which, you know, if they can win out, of course, this is not a league game. Yeah. But they'll have buyers next week that is a league game, I believe. Yeah, that's, I think, you know, we, we played buyers what, about 10 days ago and beat yeah. them, but that wasn't a league game. No, so, which is sad. And yeah. hopefully that does come back to bite them. You know, yeah. it's one of those deals where the buyers has now got a little bit of a motivation to uh, come in there and want to win. They should anyway. But yeah. All right, we're about set to go here as... It'll be Vasquez and Liggett jumping. Liggett with 37 points. And it'll be Vasquez, nice set of legs there as they'll control it. Yeah. Again, these are very fast guard Ryan Casillas as he will be taken on by Capel. Badgers in a zone. Uh, no, they're in a man, man, man. sorry. Yep. yep. Now 15 Vasquez is their uh, Leading scorer, averaging 16 and a half points. And he, he just put in the first two points for the yep. uh, Mellonears. Yeah, Liggett slipped. Liggett was defending him, and he slipped, and so he took advantage of that open shot. So, And a good look there by Rubisam. Unfortunately, didn't fall. Yep, Montanez with the rebound. He'll get it down court quickly. That's 22. That's Grasmick. And number three, that is Casillas up with the short layup, or the short shot there from close in. Ruby Sam back to Bennett, inside to Meyer. And Meyer tries to, whoa. <laughs> tries Meyer, Meyer was kind of leaning on his defender a little bit and defenders took a step backwards and Luke, Luke went backwards. So. That's smart play there by the defender as he took advantage of the balance So the Meloneers a chance to go up four to nothing, and a foul. That'll be the first team foul on the Badgers, and that'll be on Gavin League at his first. So it's not a good way for Gavin to start. No. As that is Montanez looking to get it to Casillas. You know, Montanez is averaging just over eight points a game, so. He's a pretty deadly shooter, too. So, Well, hopefully that tiny bit of size advantage for the Badgers. We'll see if that helps. Yeah. A nice pass there, and Bennett can't quite finish it. Nice look inside, but uh, Bennett just a little too far into the basket to finish it off. I guess maybe a small break for the Badgers is, is uh, one of their higher scorers, Dalton Davis. I guess he's sick tonight, so he's not here. He was averaging over 10 points a game. Wow. So that's, you know, it's got to hurt the Meloneers. Well, and the Meloneers just went up four, four to nothing as the uh, Badgers turn it over. 5.56 to go here. There's LaFour. Baca LaFour, I guess we'll call him that way. As Grasmick puts it up, a long one. Long rebound to Liggett. Liggett will bring it out. Middle of the floor over to Meyer. They get to Meyer. Out to Kappel. Kappel. Meyer for three. Yep. Got it! That doesn't hurt. Nope.
Casillas will bring it up. Over to Baca Lafour. Into Vasquez. And they'll call walk. that a dribble. Yep. A d or walk. Yep. Not double dribble. I think it's Baca Lafore, but I'm not sure. Lafore, hey, I'll take your word for it. If anybody out there knows, text me at 719 740 1361. As people I was going to ask have vacated. Bennett to Capel inside, and Luke Meyer. Nice. With all five points. Yep. Nice pass to, from Kappel to Meyer. That'll be over. Oh, nice pass. Just too far under. And a turnaround. No good. That was R Ramos. Down to Rubisam. Now to Liggett. Liggett will take a baseline. And boy. Just a roll. Nice roll. First lead of the game, or not first lead. How about three-point lead as we'll have yeah. a timeout. Well, it is first lead, isn't it? No, I they were up. I guess by four. Yeah. yeah. We got a 30-second timeout by the Meloneers. So, um. Don't forget, Colorado High School basketball is brought to you in part by Hoffman Drug, Verizon and Signal, Arby's Alignment, Equitable Savings Alone, and Morgan Community College. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. Devin Christian checked in for Cody Bennett for the Badgers. And Ruben Ramos checked in uh, for the Meloneers. He, w I think he was actually in. He must have snuck it? in just before they called the timeout. Okay. As I called him there. As they're going to try and trap him in the middle. As they'll have floor it there and Christian comes away with it. Florek in there to provide a little bit of offense hopefully. Rubisam now to Christian over to Meyer. Meyer inside to Liggett. Liggett will miss as they're going to put him underneath and away will come Casillas. And a long shot there, no good. Baca Lafore, miss on a long three-pointer. They're trying to jump that ball handler as they come down, trying to track him, yep. make him make a mistake. And that pass from Rubisam to Christian just over the outstretched hands there. Grasmick will come back into the ball game for R R Ramos. And then they only were suiting 10, uh, 10 on the uh, the uh, roster here, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, they, like I said, one of them is six, so that's 11. But they had a couple other kids that are listed on the roster, but they're not in the book. So, in fact, Grasmick is wearing the jer number of one hmm. of the kids. So That's kind of bizarre. Yeah, so I don't know. Nice rebound by. There. Yeah. Christian with a nice rebound. He got it to Flork. 250 to go, 7 to 4. Batters up on top in the first quarter here. Ruber Sam looking for Liggett. Nice move, and he will can it, but I think it's two. a two. It's a two. Nine. Just inside the line there. 9 to 4, five point lead. Again, they're trying to get that trap, oh, and that's walked. a step. Yep. Yep. He took that step before he released the ball, so. Number 10, um, Charlton Amaya uh, checked into the game. He comes in for Montanez. Clark. They're going to call Rubisam with a walk. Kind of took a stutter step there. But the Meloneers will see if they can Whittle that lead down, 2.19 to go here in the first. Get it to Vasquez in the middle. He'll put up a 10-footer, miss. Rubisam with a rebound. And will go off the hands of Grasmick. Badgers inbound it with Liggett to Flork. I think when Flork's in, they must slide. Wow, I see what they're doing. Okay, so it's a four low. Meyer. 
inside to Christian, and he will put it up. Good idea, and he will get fouled. I believe that's going to be on Grasnick. So Christian misses, gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and will draw the foul. No, nope, they're going to call that on um, number Maya. 10. Yeah. Yeah. Grant Yelsa to come in. That's a Mayas first, first team foul on the Meloneers. Meyer come out. 155 left in the first quarter. Badgers up nine to four. Devin Christian at the line. Christian's second one's up, miss, and nice rebound there by Montanez. Vasquez. To Casillas for three, miss, and Vasquez nearly tipped it in. Yep. But it's going to go off of the, I think it's going to go off of Grant Yao. Yep. Yeah, Montan, or, uh, yeah, it was Montanez. He, no, C Casillas. Vasquez that, shot, that crashed the board. Oh, oh, yeah, it was Montanez. Yep, yep. The so. There's Montanez over to Casillas. Now to Baca Lafour. So far, the uh, Badgers have not been in a running game. No. Which is definitely half-court game is their game, I think, right now. Yeah. Liggett, nice move, and he will just smoke them if you got them. 11 to 4. Liggett leaving some dead soldiers there in the, in the wake. As Vasquez will put it on the floor, nice pass. Tries to get it into Montanez and will go off his hands. Bennett and Bandy come in. Yep. Ruba Sam and Liggett will come out with 59.6 seconds left in the quarter. Badgers up 11 to four. Bandy. Gets it over to Yao. Looking for Bennett. Nothing there, out to Florick. Then it wide open. Probably don't want him shooting out there as that was Christian and Grant Yao with a rebound, and I'm not sure what that shot was. Kind of a overhanded arc. I don't know what Grant was doing there. And the Badgers get the <laughs> ball back. Yeah, it was kind what? of a twisting. It it was <laughs> fall away. And he's got to realize that he's six foot three and he's he's a little bit bigger than some of the other players he's playing against and should be able to take advantage of that darn it yep. out of bounds on the Meloneers Badgers will remain, keep possession and 16.9 seconds left Florica will get it six clocks not started there it goes and Florica he'll look for the three nothing 9.1 seconds now six Florick short. Be short. Vasquez with a rebound, one second, and he needs to have a sense of urgency, yeah. and he didn't do it. No, he didn't. He didn't know what, how much time was left on the clock. All right, with uh, end of the uh, first, we'll go ahead and take a break. The Badgers are up on top, 11 to four. You're watching ColoradoPreps.tv and NFHS Network. There's nothing like the smoky, wood-burning flavors of slow cooking. And now Arby's has the perfect smokehouse taste that you crave. The new smokehouse brisket sandwich features thinly sliced beef brisket that has been smoked for at least 13 hours. Melted smoked Gouda cheese, crispy onions, and smoky barbecue sauce and mayo served on a toasted star top bun. Come to Arby's at 2221 West 6th Street to try it today. Arby's slicing up freshness. All right, back here. Beginning a second quarter, Badgers up by seven as they will have it to begin the second quarter. The Kerrigan Capel, Cody Bennett, Luke Meyer, who just took the shot, Bandy, and yeah, missed there as it went off the front of the rim. 
Casillas. Gets it to Vasquez. So Baca, LaFore, Casillas, Vasquez, and Amaya in the game. And a steal there by the ba Badgers. Bandy will take it. 7.23 to go here in the first half. Rocky Ford in a man-to-man. Vandy looking for somebody. Gets it over to Bandy. Bandy will shoot for three. No good. And picked up by Capel. He'll put it up. No good. And. <laughs> yeah, fights for the ball, knocks it away, and yeah, Capel gets it back. Yeah. As Meyer gets the roll. Gets My the two. Meyer about the only one on the Badgers beside Liggett to be able to get anything in the bucket. 13 yep. to four, Badgers up by nine. Six and a half minutes left in the half. And quite frankly, I'm shocked we've got this score right now. And Badgers a lucky, nice backdoor move there as Bacalafore. And that is a miss there by Amea and Vasquez on the rebound. Casillas inside to Montanez, Montanez will put it up, miss, and a rebound by Bennett. Here come the Badgers, Bandy. To Bennett, Capel, Bandy. And I don't know what uh, that was. <laughs> uh, he was trying to get yeah. to, to Yal, and he got the, his uh, oop a little, his alley oop just a little high there. And it wasn't over Grant's head. Wasn't even an oom pa pa. Yeah. No. Missed by Vasquez as he is just cold. Here come the Badgers, two on three, and Capel will hold it up. Well, actually, he'll go baseline. Pop it back out to Yao. Yao will make a nice move, but can't finish it as they will call that a jump as Bennett will try to go up for the ball. Yeah, him and uh, Amaya tying up. Ruba Sam and Liggett come back in game for Bandy and Yao. 13 to 4, 526 to go here. Vasquez to Bacalifore. And they're going to call that a block on Bennett. Can't tell what the ages are on these kids yeah. for sure. No height, no grade. <laughs> nope. So. Casillas will inbound it. He'll get it to Montanez. Montanez will drive, puts it up, left-hander, and they're going to call travel. Wow. I was afraid they was going to call a foul. On yeah, the I, there. I did too. He I drove that. and there was a little reach there. Liggett looking for the pick and Meyer to Capel back to Meyer who is Sam will lose it gets Capel will retain it Meyer will put it up and Meyer oh. is unconscious 16 to 4. And I'll be honest, boy, this I didn't see this coming. I think Myers probably got 10 points. Yeah, and a, Ruby Sam's going to be called for the foul. Yep, went up for the block and got just a little bit too much body. That'll be the second team foul on uh, the Badgers, not third. Okay, I had three and. That'll be the first on Ruba Sam. Christian comes in for Bennett. Montanez does make that. Montanez, a 60% free throw shooter. Misses. Nice rebound by Christian. And they're going to call Montanez on the touch. That'll be his first, be the 
second team foul. On the Melaneers. Inside to Christian. Christian will put it up and it'll be partially blocked there by Montanez. Here comes Casillas. Four on two, four on three, and Montanez will finish it. And Christian, I think, got a partial block yeah. on that. They're, They're calling a walk on the Melaneers, so. Four minutes to go. Liggett will bring it up. 16 to 5, 11 point lead for the Badgers. Second half, or second quarter here, first half. 350 left in the half. There's Ruby Sam. No good, and that will nearly go out of bounds. Ruby Sam will save it. Vasquez will get a hold of it. Casillas. Meyer tried to force the ball inside to Christian, and the ball was intercepted. So, a nice try by Christian. Just didn't quite get there. <laughs> and they're going to actually call that on Capel, aren't they? Well, they said. I thought they said oh, 21, and well, I'm not sure who. Ruby Sam? No, oh. Ruby Sam's got one. <laughs> That's weird. I think it should have been Capel. Maybe he said two <clears throat> on one. I don't know. We'll go with Capel. There we go. That'll be the fourth team foul on the Badgers. So 16 to 7. Nine point lead. Liggett will take it in and miss. And Montanez is going to be fouled by Meyer. Meyer. That'll be his first. You know, those are the things we have to stop. You know, those well, that, you know, unforced fouls. Yep. You know, where we just, as the guy's running by, we, we're reaching in. Um, yeah, those are just fouls that you're just giving away. Yeah. See us over. That's going to go off. I think that went off of. Went off. Uh, wow. Well, 30. Did it go off yeah, 33 Ramos? Ramos? Yeah. 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 He couldn't handle that pass. So. My sheet's all marked up. Just trying to remember, find out. Trying to. Read my writing and see who who's in there and <laughs> yeah, who's what number. So. Well, and especially oh Liggett, it's going to be blocked by Vasquez, yep. but they're going to call a foul. That'll be his first. And the third team foul on the Melaneers. So, two fifty-two left in the first half. Badgers up sixteen to seven. Liggett at the line. He makes his first. Flork will check in for Capel. I don't recognize this officiating crew either. This is a new crew I've not seen. I haven't mm -mm, I haven't seen them either before. Might have come out of the valley. No, Liggett makes his second one, so 18-7. 252 left in the first half. Badgers are going to take a full court press. And the Meloneers break it. Vasquez in the corner, he loses it, but Florek's going to pick it up, and here they come. Meyer, three on three. Ruby Sam over his head. So turnover. 2.32 to go, 18 to 7. Vasquez penetrates, and he'll make a nice move around. No good. Christian will get the rebound, and he'll get whistle for the foul yep. after he lost it Montanez was able to get it away that'll be the 16 foul on the Badgers so. they try to work the ball into Vasquez and the ball knocked away so in will come Baca the four. The four A. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> there you go. Isaiah. Yeah, I might yeah. just call him Isaiah. As there he is, he'll Three shoot corner. it. 
off the front of the rim, and it'll be Liggett. It's going to be Char. He's going to be drawing a foul. Yep. That'll be the number 20, uh, Brian Avilia. Yeah. That'll be his first. Fourth team foul on the Melaneers in the first half. 2.10 to go. Ruby Sam tries to make a pass that pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, one of them no look, reach around. So Grasmick will come back in the game for Avilia. Ruby Sam ends and bounds it to Liggett over to Florek. To Ruby Sam. Nearly carries it. And Liggett will put it up and get it in. He got the roll. 20 to 7. 13 point lead. And Grasmick, nice running one hander, and it's going to be foul on Meyer. And that'll put Grasmick to the line. That'll be Meyer's second foul, 17 foul. Yalla. I'm sorry, Vasquez, I said Grasmick. Yeah, Yalla will uh, check in for Meyer. So. Gra or Vasquez, a 47% free throw shooter. We seem to always make them better. I don't know how. Yep, yep. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know what, well, where everybody was going. Well, Badgers are just, you know, hoping the refs weren't paying attention. And there you go. Hey, we'll get the ball and try to throw it in, and we'll give him the other free throw. <laughs> uh. Long rebound yep. there. I think Leggett will control it. Minute 36 to go. 20 to 8, Badgers up on top. Over to Ruby Sam, and he cans it for three. 23 to 8 with a minute 20 left in the first half. And off of uh, Yal's foot, and Florick will come back with it. Set it up a minute 13 to go. And Liggett tries to get it into Ruby Sam. Not going to quite do it. No. Had a lot of it bodies to go it through. Was deflected. Yep. Went out of bounds. So. Minute nine, 23 to eight. To Christian. Get it to Ruby Sam. To Liggett. To Floor. Under a minute left. Now, Yao. Badgers are working for a final shot here. Liggett will see if he can do something with it. 45 seconds to go. Tapped out of his hand, and Yao can't handle it as he was trying to get the loose ball. 40 seconds left in the first half. Montanez, and that's going to go over the top, and I going to be on off of grass make it looks like. Yep, he couldn't handle the pass. Thought almost one of the Badgers touched it, and... Grasmick did not, but they did. 37 seconds left in the half. Badgers up 23-8. Florick. And White, and Ruby Sam's going to take advantage, and he will be fouled. Ruby Sam drawing the foul on the drive. That'll be on Bacala 4A, I believe. Uh, you're going to call it, is that 22? No, they changed it. Oh, there we go. So that's his first. Let's see, fifth team foul on the Melaneers. Ruby Sam misses his first one. Second one's up and no good. Vasquez, 21 seconds to go. Melaneers will see if they can Get a last shot here as Casillas will put it up and it'll go flat. Rebounded by Rubisam. Rubisam comes out of it. Ten seconds. Gets it to Vial and Grasmick and Yao will get tied up. Grasmick gets two points for the takedown. <laughs> uh, so 8.5 seconds to go here. That'll be Grasmick's first. 16 foul. Liggett for three. Missed. 
And Florek will put it up and tapped away there, swatted. Grasmick will put it up and Ooh. almost got it. He almost opened the bank. Yes, so. he did. All right, at the end of two, we'll go ahead and take it to commercial, 23 to eight. The Badgers up on top. And we'll go ahead and bring it back on coloradopreps.tv. Freshness. Want a new phone at a great price? Then hurry to the Penny Phone Sale at Insignal during their President's Day Sale. Choose from select 3G or 4G Android phones for just one cent. Dig out those pennies and get to Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer now. Sale starts February 17th through February 22nd at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. These deals won't last long. Shop in Signal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. Do your activation requires some restrictions apply. Selection may vary at each location. See store for specific details. As we transition from fall to winter sports broadcasts, we'll continue to be supported by Equitable Savings. Equitable home loans are made, funded, and serviced locally. And Equitable Mobile Banking lets you do your banking on the go globally. Borrow locally, bank globally with Equitable Savings. Since 1954, the same local ownership, the same commitment to our communities. Member FDIC deposits FDIC insured to at least $250,000 in equal housing lender. Our coverage of Lyman Badger Sports is brought to you with the support of Equitable Savings. Since 1954, Equitable has helped finance the dreams of many local homeowners. Equitable home loans are made, funded, and serviced locally. And with mobile banking, your checking account goes wherever you go. Borrow locally, bank globally at Equitable Savings. Since 1954, the same local ownership, the same commitment to our communities. Member FDIC deposits FDIC insured to at least $250,000 in equal housing lender. The following is an interview with a real high school student currently enrolled at Morgan Community College. For me, it's been a huge relief, but challenging as well. It makes it so that when I get into a college that I already have my general credits, I can go into something knowing that I've already taken this, I can go further. And I will talk to admissions representatives and I'll say, well, I will be graduating high school with this 65 college credits. They look at me like I'm crazy. I'm ready to move forward and I guess it's been it's been easier I think being able to see myself in college thanks to having had college classes. I feel totally prepared and I really feel like I'll be able to once I get into wherever I decide to go I feel like I'll be able to just start. I won't have very many questions I'll just be able to go. To get a jump start on your college career, log on to morgancc.edu or drop by their Lyman office at 942nd Street. There's nothing like the smoky, wood-burning flavors of slow cooking. And now Arby's has the perfect smokehouse taste that you crave. 
The new Smokehouse Brisket Sandwich features thinly sliced beef brisket that has been smoked for at least 13 hours. Melted smoked Gouda cheese, crispy onions, and smoky barbecue sauce and mayo served on a toasted star top bun. Come to Arby's at 2221 West 6th Street to try it today. Arby's slicing up freshness. Want a new phone at a great price? Then hurry to the Penny Phone Sale at Insignal during their President's Day Sale. Choose from select 3G or 4G Android phones for just one cent. Dig out those pennies and get to Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer now. Sale starts February 17th through February 22nd at Insignal, your local Verizon premium wireless retailer. These deals won't last long. Shop in Signal today in Lyman at 1144 Main Street. Do your activation requires some restrictions apply. Selection may vary at each location. See store for specific details. As we transition from fall to winter sports broadcasts, we'll continue to be supported by Equitable Savings. Equitable home loans are made, funded, and serviced locally. And Equitable Mobile Banking lets you do your banking on the go globally. Borrow locally, bank globally with Equitable Savings. Since 1954, the same local ownership, the same commitment to our communities. Member FDIC deposits FDIC insured to at least $250,000 in equal housing lender. Our coverage of Lyman Badger Sports is brought to you with the support of Equitable Savings. Since 1954, Equitable has helped finance the dreams of many local homeowners. Equitable home loans are made, funded, and serviced locally. And with mobile banking, your checking account goes wherever you go. Borrow locally, bank globally at Equitable Savings. Since 1954, the same local ownership, the same commitment to our communities. Member FDIC deposits FDIC insured to at least $250,000 in equal housing lender. The following is an interview with a real high school student currently enrolled at Morgan Community College. For me, it's been a huge relief, but challenging as well. It makes it so that when I get into a college that I already have my general credits, I can go into something knowing that I've already taken this, I can go further. And I will talk to admissions representatives and I'll say, well, I will be graduating high school with 65 college credits. They look at me like I'm crazy. I'm ready to move forward. And I guess it's been, it's been easier, I think, being able to see myself in college thanks to having had college classes. I feel totally prepared and I really feel like I'll be able to, once I get into wherever I decide to go, I feel like I'll be able to just start. I won't have very many questions, I'll just be able to go. To get a jump start on your college career, log on to morgancc.edu or drop by their Lyman office at 942nd Street. This is an interview with an actual Morgan Community College parent. My oldest daughter graduated from high school and went on to college and she took 35 credit hours with her. What that did for us was saved us one complete year of her four year college that we didn't have to pay for. And it was one of the greatest gifts that we could have gotten by saving that one year. Our youngest daughter is now a junior in high school and she just recently enrolled in Morgan Community College classes while she's in high school and it's just it's a, a wonderful program that they offer these high school students to take these college classes. I think everybody should do that if their children are thinking about going on and getting a college degree. Um, it's a wonderful thing. The Morgan Community College people have been so great to work with and so helpful and Whatever you need, they're there to help you in any way they can. To jumpstart your child's college education, log on to morgancc.edu.
All right, back here at Lyman High School as we bring you the second half of the boys' game versus uh, or Lyman Badgers versus the Rocky Ford Melloneers. Joe Brewer, Tim Anderson on the call here. His score here is 23 to 8 at halftime. Joe, uh, not exactly the game I was expecting. I, I figured we'd have a lot more running. Uh, Rocky Ford has not gotten up the court like I thought they would. No, uh, no they definitely, uh, you know, different from what Coach Peterson I've I guess expected, so I don't know if that, you know, the we talked about the one player who's sick that's not yeah. here tonight, so I don't know if, you know, he's kind of the catalyst to that or or what, so. Yeah, 10 point a game as uh, Meloneers start out here, and it's going to be a foul on Rubisam, yep. on Montanez, and I think they may, yep, he will shoot. Yep, Badgers had the ball coming out, and Liggett tried to, Work it into Meyer underneath, and they were, the pass was intercepted. And so, Montanez will start off the Meloneers the right way, give them one point, make it a 23 to 19 game. Second one's up and got it. A 23 to 10, 13 point lead, and by no means is that lead safe. As Ruba Samuel. Capital for three. Wow. So and that's you know, that's what we needed for him to come out and kind of take it over. You know, you, you looked at the book at halftime and Liggett and Meyer each had ten, ten. and Ruba Sam had a three, three. pointer yep. and you know, we we've got to have a little bit more spread out, you know, offense there. So Rocky Ford makes a nice that was a nice move by Montan I think it was Montanez that scored that. And a miss there, and it's going to be picked up by Montanez. Bennett hits the floor. Montanez will penetrate. Nice move, Grasmick, and it's going to be out of bounds as Rubisam is Mont able to get a piece of that. Montanez comes up hobble hobbling a little bit. Surprised they didn't call a foul on Rubisam. It looked pretty close as... Yeah. Vasquez, nice jumper there, and he'll miss. Oh, and Meyer came down with a rebound, and Grasmick just right. took it out of his hands, and <laughs> he was about to fall out of bounds, so he, then he bounced it off of him and go out of bounds. Yeah, so. I hate that. Yeah. Pass over to Vasquez. He'll go one-on-one -on -one with Liggett. Miss, and Grasmick with a rebound, and he'll get it stripped as he tried to go back up with it. Capel comes away with it. He'll penetrate, turns. Shoots, misses, Grasmick, and that's going to be yep. off of Kappel. It's going to be a foul on Kappel over the back is what they're going to call. Yep. That'll be his second foul. Be the second team foul on the Badgers this half. Uh, that was another one of them, uh, or I guess first team. Yeah. First team foul. Nope, two. Yep. Huh. So, because Ruben Sam got the first one. So. Mont Montanez loses the ball. And he will get it over to Casillas inside the three-point arc, and Casillas will put up a two. You know, we've talked about this for the Badgers, you know, on the rebound, and they've got to get a little stronger, stronger hands. Yeah, they do. You know, there's two or three times tonight where we've gotten the rebound and we've had it taken away from us or, you know, we're about to tie the guy up and he just yanks it away from us. And so... Need strong hands. Baca Lafour gets it over to Casillas. Casillas asking Baca Lafour to get out a, a little further. Over to Montanez. Vasquez for three. Long rebound, and it'll be saved there by Liggett as he tried to get control of it. Got it inbounds. Cap will bring it up to Rubisam. Rubisam will put it up. Can it? It was a rocket, but it was yeah. good. Didn't have a lot of height on no, it. No, it had zero <laughs> arc on it. It ain't pretty, but it went in. It looked so. like a cannonball. <laughs> yep. Casillas will take a baseline. No good. Rebounded by Bennett and a reach around by Grasmick. Yeah, that's going to be his second team foul. First team foul this half for the, on the Meloneers. Joe Brewer, Tim Anderson on ColoradoPreps.tv. A couple other games going on. Swink and Fowler. And then in San Luis Valley, Centauri, and I think it's Monta Vista. 
go center in Monta Vista. As Meyer goes to the floor and is able to save that. Gets over to Liggett. Liggett penetrates, puts it up, and miss. Montanez will come out of the crowd with it and a reach around, and there's exactly the same yep. thing we are talking about, Joe. That'll be three on Rubisam, so Florick will come in for him. Tristan will sit down for probably the rest of the quarter. Yep, those are, those are fouls that, I mean, you call them lazy fouls, basically, is what they are. They're just fouls that you just cannot afford to give away. 4.42 to go, 28 to 14, double up here. Kind of those reach out and touch someone fouls. <laughs> there so. you go. Oh, Vasquez with a floater, can't make it stick, and here come the Badgers. Give it to Liggett, nice pass. He'll go up and, up and underneath, no good. And it will come this way as he stepped out of bounds, Mont or uh, Baca Lafour. Yeah, the ball got loose, and he stepped on the line trying to retrieve it. Bennett to Kappel, Kappel for three, no good. Rebound by Meyer, out to Liggett. Liggett will think about it. Give it to Florick. Florick will go in, miss. Bennett with the rebound, and he will be fouled. He threw the foul, let's see. That'll be on uh, Mont Montanez, his second. Second team foul on the Meloneers this half. So Bennett will go to the line shooting. Oh, no, no, nope. no, nope. they said he it was on the ground, so. Kappel will inbound the ball for the Badgers. He gets it into Bennett. Oh, Florick, oh, off the glass on the left-hand side. Can't quite make it fall as there'll be a, gosh darn, There's reach around. There's another foul on Meyer. That's his third, so he'll sit down. Christian will come in for him. Four oh three to go, twenty eight fourteen. You know, we talked there at halftime that you know <laughs> yeah. at Burlington we had three guys with three fouls at half and that here we had Meyer with two and everybody else had one and now we got two guys with three. Christian nice with a block. block. Yeah. So. Christian's got some got some springs under him. Yeah. Lorick, nice job of uh, getting that ball. Christian will come around and nearly loses it. Capel. Going to get some prey up. Montanez, Montanez is going to. Montanez, that'll be his third. Out of bounds on the far side. Be the third team foul. Ooh, they called that on one, I guess. Oh, it is one. That's yeah, it. that was Montanez. Oh, yep. I was thinking, okay. Wrong number. <laughs> Christian, Christian is going to be called. Oh. oh. That's going to be four on Montanez. Oh, my goodness. Little hand check there. And, uh, you know, Coach well, Lowther. Not yeah. so sure about that one. But yeah, before he could get somebody in to replace him, he picks up another one. So Ramos will come in. So I'm sure he'll be setting for a while. Florick will put it up and can't quite make it stick. He'll get his own rebound. Gets it over to Capel. Capel go baseline. Quick move. Nice. 30 to 14, 319 left in the third quarter. Grant Yao getting ready to check in for the Badgers. Baca Lafour over to Casillas into Grasmick. Back to Baca. And cans it. Three-pointer. Timeout. Meloneers. See if it's a full timeout. Yep. It is. We'll go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be back here in just one moment. You're watching and listening to Chasa.tv, ColoradoPreps.tv. There's nothing like the smoky, wood-burning flavors of slow cooking. And now Arby's has the perfect smokehouse taste that you crave. The new smokehouse brisket sandwich features thinly sliced beef brisket that has been smoked for at least 13 hours. Melted smoked Gouda cheese, crispy onions, and smoky barbecue sauce and mayo served on a toasted star top bun. Come to Arby's at 2221 West 6th Street to try it today. Arby's slicing up freshness.
All right, coming out of the uh, break, actually out of the uh, timeout, Badgers will have it. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Florica will drive. Badgers up 30 to 17, lead it with the ball. Yal to Florick. And can't quite make that around the corner there. Yep. Yal yeah, was posted up and had had his guy beat to the to the basket, but they couldn't get the pass into him. Uh, so. Just not quite the right angle. And that'll be a foul on yeah. Yal. Hey, that's his first for the night. There you so. go. <laughs> be the fourth team, fifth team foul for the Badgers. Oh, Vasquez cannot make that. Bandy getting ready to check in. He'll come in for Capel. Vasquez's second one's on the way and got that one. 30 to 18, 12 point difference. Again, not enough of an advantage to feel real comfortable. No. 12. 12 points. Badgers need to get hot. They do. Bandy, nice pass, nice ball movement as Florick will try to go penetration. And Bandy, no good, and rebound. Oh! Uh, that'll be Grant's second foul. <laughs> <laughs> he was just, that was an aggress, aggress, <laughs> aggressive foul. He was, he was trying to get the rebound, and he just kind of got a forearm out there in the guy's back. So... Badgers up to 16 fouls. Next one's going to be shooting for the uh, yep. Melonheers. Bakla four back to Casillas. Over to Vasquez, wide open, three-pointer miss. And Liggett with a re. It's going to go off of Liggett. Yep. He kind of got the ball knocked out from behind, but they're going to call it off him. Out will come Ramos, and we'll go Maya. Maya. Yep. Minute 59 to go in the third. Bacca four, nice pass in the grass. Make, he'll go up and over the top of Christian Miss. And Casillas with a rebound, he'll miss. And Vasquez finally got it. You know, there's that Badgers not fighting for the rebounds. I mean, we yeah. gave them, what, three, four opportunities mm -hmm. there? And this yeah. is a team that matches up pretty si good size-wise. Yeah. That should be able to uh, out-rebound them. Floor penetrates, and it'll be blocked by Grassmick. Yeah. Grasmick high off the uh, backboard, and guess what? Eight point difference now. Yeah. And a timeout. Badger's going to take a timeout. Taking a 30 second. So I think Coach Peterson's talking to Florick about maybe driving that lane and getting that, you know, that might not be the best shot for him. No, so. I mean, granted, he's got some good moves, but. Going into the lane like that, that's pretty pretty tough going. Yeah. Minute 20 to go, 30 to 22, eight point lead. Badgers were up as high as 14 points. That lead is now down to eight. Badgers will have it at the timeout. Christian will get it inbounded to Bandy. Minute 17. Man-to-man -man defense by the Melonheers, and that is yeah. Vasquez nearly yeah. getting that steal. Florick was trying to pass it to Liggett, and he passed where Liggett was, and Liggett was cut to the basket. And luckily, uh, Vasquez uh, hit the ball, and it went out of bounds, so Badger's got a break there. Liggett will penetrate, and he'll try and pass that to to Christian and not quite there. You know, we we did a pretty good job, I thought, you know, Saturday night. We didn't have a lot of turnovers. No. Man, tonight we kind of made up for that, I guess. Yeah, so I think so. Three-pointer by Casillas, and you don't want to get that kid hot. Yeah. And Christian will get it to floor. 46 seconds to go. Badgers up 30 to 22, eight-point lead. Bandy over to Liggett. Liggett will make fake and go in and be fouled. Yeah. It's Baca LaFour. I if we're going to call that on the ground or if he, if he was shooting. I think they'll on call the ground, it on the ground, so. yeah. So that'll be, uh, well, they called that on number, oh, there it is. 
They called that on Vasquez. Vasquez, yeah. Yeah, so that's two on him. Fifth team foul. Liggett, 25 seconds now to Bandy. Now to Flork. Flork looks for the three, doesn't take it. Gets it over to Bandy, now to Liggett. Into Yao. Yao tries to yep. force it in. And Christian just picked up his second foul, going over the back, trying to retrieve the ball. So, wow. Take care of the ball, folks. Yeah, I mean, that was, you know, the Badgers were working for one shot and trying to, you know, either take the last shot there before the clock expired or an open shot. And Grant tried to force it in and to Christian. Oh, and Vasquez gets the uh, offensive rebound, and there'll be – Jump ball. Wow. Quick hands there by Florick. He yep. was lucky. He got enough of the ball, I guess. Uh, possession arrow pointing toward the Melaneers. So. There's Amaya over to Bacala for 10 seconds. Casillas into Vasquez. Five seconds. Clear across court to Bacala for three. Uh, Miss. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. As we'll go to the or the fourth quarter with a 30 to 22 score, Badgers up by eight. We'll be back in just a moment. This is an interview with an actual Morgan Community College parent. My oldest daughter graduated from high school and went on to college and she took 35 credit hours with her. What that did for us was saved us one complete year of her four-year college that we didn't have to pay for. And it was one of the greatest gifts that we could have gotten by saving that one year. Our youngest daughter is now a junior in high school and she just recently enrolled in Morgan Community College classes while she's in high school. And it's just, it's a, a wonderful program that they offer these high school students to take these college classes. I think everybody should do that if their children are thinking about going on and getting a college. All right, back here, fourth quarter action is the Badgers start the uh, fourth quarter with the ball. Ruby Sam for three, no good, and that'll be Maya on the rebound. Get it out to Casillas. Eight point difference. And uh, Joe, you talked about off the air here, talking about they doubled, uh, the Meloneers doubled up the points on uh, the Badgers. Yeah, they uh, scored 14 points in that quarter. Well, we only scored seven. So. Yeah. So. Not a good thing for the Badgers. No. Eight point difference now. Leggett will put it up, miss. Rebound by Vasquez. And Casillas. Oh, they're going to call him for a walk. Good thing as Meyer reached in. Yeah, well, After Meyer was Meyer was uh, standing there when he kind of made him alter his uh, dribble just yeah. a little bit and take that extra step. So. Liggett, kind of a one-on-one -on -one situation. Puts it up and gets it, 32-22. Casillas. I just looked back at some of the games that uh, Dalton Davis has played in. He's He's been a significant factor, so Badger's lucky that, that uh, he's not here tonight as he uh, scored 14 against Sanford. Yeah. Well, he was, you know, he's averaging 10.3 points a game. You know, you count his 10 points, mm -hmm. this would be a tie ball game. So. Yes, it would. Oh, oh, my goodness. There's four on Meyer. And off the bench comes Christian. Christian, yep. So, and that'll be the seventh team foul on the Badgers. So, for the rest of the ball game, Rocky Ford will be uh, shooting free throws. As a team, the. Uh... And, you know, I mean, and Luke was just trying to go for the ball, trying right. to knock it out, reached over the back a little bit. And he That's... got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. and. You know, that, that's kind of a basketball play there, so. Yeah. As a team, the uh, Meloneers shooting 60%, not too bad. No. Meloneers turn the ball over. Badgers bring it down court. 
32-22, 10 point difference as Rubisam gets it into Bennett. Bennett gets the up and under. 34-22, 12 point lead. Casillas over to Bacalafoya to Vasquez. To Casillas, Casillas faking and Three he'll can it. Wow. Badgers have got to get a hand in his face. Some. Yeah, it's talked about him not, get, not getting him hot, allowing him to get hot. Up, oh, call wow. Wiggins for the for a walk. So another turnover by the Badgers. 5.50 to go, 34-25. Badgers up by nine. Stop here would give the Meloneers lead cut to seven. Bennett will get that rebound off the miss. And Liggett coming down. Nearly had a tip away. Fade away shot, and he's just got that one nailed. Give him that yeah. shot, he's got it. 11-point lead for the Badgers, five and a half minutes left in the ball game. Casillas over to Baca Lafore. Back to Casillas. Inside to grass, Mick Hill put it up and won't quite get it to fall. But Amaya with a turnaround, and that's going to go out and off of Baca Lafore. Yep. Kappel brings the ball across half court. Gets it to Liggett. Christians. Oh, uh, not, almost. Liggett for a three-pointer. Yeah, so. he, had, he also had Christian rolling down too, but yep. obviously 39-25. That's correct, yeah, 39-25. Yep. Had to double take that as that's a 14-point lead all of yep. a sudden. Meloneers took 30-second timeout. Well, yeah, I mean, Badgers have scored more so far this quarter than they did the whole last <laughs> quarter. So they finally maybe woke up, got a little hot. Yep. A little fire burning under their feet. Joe Burr, Tim Anderson on the call tonight on ColoradoPreps.tv, Chasa.tv, and the NFHS Network. Coming out of the timeout, the... Meloneers will have it. Casillas. To Montanez. Vasquez will step back, put it up, no good. As Badgers will come away with it. Rubisam to Kappel. Now to Liggett. Nice pass to Bennett, and if uh, can't, can't finish it. Yep. Christian gets the rebound, goes back up, and he can't finish it either. So those are the th kind of things there, you know, the basics that you have to do. Yeah. You have to make those shots. Yeah, nice looking play as Bennett was able to take the pick and roll, and he uh, rolled down and unfortunately just couldn't finish that out as Kappel will get some pressure here by Casillas, and he'll split the two. Get an opportunity for Bennett. Now out to Rubisam for three. That's short. Yeah, and that, again, I think it's time to run off a little bit and be a little more patient. Fourth quarter, 3.52 to go, 39-25, 14-point lead. There's Casillas, and he'll can it. 11-point difference now. 39-28, 3.43 left in the ball game. Kappel spins, gets it to Rubisam. Now Liggett, Liggett will just pop it. it gets Did that go through? And, yeah. It, okay. <laughs> yep, it bounced straight up and about three feet and came right back down. So, 42-28. <laughs> Vasquez to Casillas inside to Montanez. And nice move there by Montanez. He'll put it up and he'll get it to fall. 42-30. Badgers up, Casillas put a little pressure there on Kappel. And again, nice. That is the way it's supposed to work. Yep. 
Pick and roll, baby. Liggett to Christian. 44-30, 14 points again. Grasmick for three, no good. Vasquez will get it and one. Nice That'll job. That'll be on Liggett. That'll be his second. Second. Yeah, credit uh, Vasquez. Nice looking play there as he was able to tip it in. Got it in and then and one. 2.37 to go. And he got it. Yep. 11 Meyer, point. Meyer will come in for Bennett. 44-32, 237. No, 44-33, yeah. 237. 11 points. And now yep. the uh, Meloneers are going to put some heavy pressure on. Full court. Meyer Liggett will send Meyer down court. To Rubisam. Liggett looks for the three, doesn't take it, gets it passed from Meyer. Meyer gets it back to Liggett and can't quite handle it, and it'll go to the Mellon ears, and now we've got a nine-point game. 35-44. Two minutes left in the ball game. Three possessions. Liggett, take it to Grasmick, give it to Ruby Sam. Kappel, up and no good. And Christian with a rebound, gets it back out to Kappel. Now Liggett will hold it, under two, minute 41. And Liggett will take it in, and he will well, draw the foul. foul. Smart move. That don't be on uh, Casillas. That's his first. So Liggett a chance to widen that lead out to 11. Gets it to 10. And does. 46-35, back to 11 points. Minute 34. Bacala four for three. Got it. And there's the shooting that we thought we'd yeah. see. 46-38, minute 20 left in the ball game. And I don't know where that was going. Kappel threw it to a lot of red jerseys. He's trying to make a pass, and one of the Badgers cut in on the pass, didn't see the ball. And Wow. Vasquez. And, folks, that is a five-point lead now. Yep. With Minute nine left in the ball game. Wow. I had that strange feeling that a 12-point or 14-point lead was not enough. Leads down to five, 46-41. I imagine uh, Coach Peterson's going to talk a little bit about taking care of the ball. Here in this timeout, and you know, not forcing a shot, and you don't have to shoot the ball. So yeah, you got a five-point lead. Let's take a little time off the clock. Kind of like Burlington the other night with the girls. The girls were up by, can't remember how many, but they were out there putting up some shots oh, that yeah. probably needed to just spend some time off, but they did end up winning. Speaking of which, the girls ended up with 11 turnovers tonight, which is amazing. That's good. That's very good. But I think at one point they were have about 30 a game. Yeah, so. much, much better, more manageable at 11 than 30. Full court pressure. Gets it over to Ruby Sam. Minute seven. And oh. Ruby Sam got it back, and they'll call the foul. And it's a one and one for the Badgers, lucky for them. That'll be on Casillas. That's his second. Seventeen foul. Ruby Sam up and no That's good. It. One minute left in the ball game. So. Foul will put the uh, Meloneers to the line, shooting two. Uh, that's going to be off. Meyer. Nice rebound there by Meyer. Yep. Meyer, Liggett will get it down to Ruby Sam, and yep. they'll foul. Yep. 
38.8 seconds, 46-41. That'll be on Bacala for a put Ruba Sam to the line, shoot one and one. Makes the first one, 47-41, six-point lead, two possession game now. 38.8 seconds left in the ball game. He misses the second one. Grasmick with the rebound. Timeout. By Rocky Ford. Yep. 30-second timeout, so. 37.1 to go in the game. Badgers up by six now. Whereas up by as much as 14. Rocky Ford got hot, whittled it down to five. We'll be home both on Friday and Saturday. Byers comes in Friday night. And that will be a league game. Calhan will come in on Saturday. Yep. That's parents' night, so. Well, I'm sure Rocky Ford's strategy is going to be either getting the ball to uh, either. Um, Montanez or or Vasquez or Casillas or Vasquez. I mean, for there a three it is. point. Yep, there it is. There's right. Yep, Montanez and Bacala four. Up. Casillas with his third foul now. We'll put Capel to the line. Twenty-three and a half seconds left in the game. Badgers up 47-41. And Amaya will step in for Grassman. Capel will help the cause. 48-41. Second one's up and got it. Maybe the fat lady can start warming up her voice now, so. And that is way off, but uh, it'll be put up, I think, by Mayo. Mayo, yeah, he makes it. 49, 43, eight seconds left. They get the ball down to an open Christian, and he makes a little layup, so. 51-43, and that'll be the final. Badgers will go to 10 and 6. The Meloneers will go to 8 and 8. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up. And Joe, we will probably see you on Friday. Should. Creek don't rise, and Lord willing. So. <laughs> All right. Well, for Joe Brewer, for Brett Brewer, actually, on camera tonight, and myself, Tim Anderson. We'll go ahead and we will wrap it up. Badgers take it, 51-43.